Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. These security guidelines can help keep personal info safe online. Oh, I see. So the IRS is going to help us safeguard our personal data now, huh? Yeah, this coming from the largest phishing data collection scamming organization ever. I mean, the IRS has collected so much personal data, it makes Mark Zuckerberg's face blush. As if hit with a book. A big book, like the tax code or something. You know, I think the IRS just doesn't want other people getting our personal info because then the IRS like loses leverage over us, you know, like with the data that they have on us and everything. I mean, honest, the whole world's a bunch of scamming, data stealing, blackmailing sons of... That's it. I'm going off grid, man. I'm, go I'm going off grid. I'm going to live off the fat of the land because Mother Earth... She's a large lady and could totally spare some fat. Plus, if Mother Earth lost a little fat, she may be able to deal with the whole global warming thing better due to being more fit. So like, my living off Mother Earth's fat is probably saving the planet, man. I'm kind of like Superman over here, but enough about my noble plans to save the world along, along with my personal, my personal data for first to joke. What's that, Phil? We're all screwed because science retired. Nothing any of us can do. We're all screwed. <laughs> Resulting in an age of no science? We're booking flights. Came for science, we're leaving because of witches. Welcome to the new dark ages. That's not true, Phil. That's not, Dr. Fauci is not actually science incarnate, no matter how many times he claims to be. Are you good? No, no, but I shoot rockets into his face. No, Phil. It's not because he passed on the title of being science itself to somebody else. Who is king here? I mean, that's ridiculous. I remind you, so you remember that. I do not remember any promises. You can't pass on the title of being science itself. I do not remember anything, except that you are my servant. Honestly, where do you get your information, Phil? MSNBC? Who told you that? My Alexa said that your Alexa had some info on things. Oh, so now our Alexas are talking. Great. I mean, can't you step it up a bit and at least start getting informed by like TikTok? Oh, I see, Phil. TikTok is the platform that helps you realize you were actually a furry. Today made me realize it's time for me to follow my true destiny. Your true essence being that of a ferret. Oh no, not this again. Yes, Francine, this again. Honestly, you can't be a ferret, Phil. You can't be like a human ferret. I don't care how much you feel like you're a ferret. I feel like a goldfish. I mean, how did you even come up with being a ferret anyways? Have you ever even seen a ferret? How did you come up with this idea? It was there. <laughs> oh, I see. It's because it sounded cool. Phil the furry ferret. Look at this one! It's saying, I'm a coffee table, put some coffee on me. Oh, the hotter the better, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> and the fact that it sounds cool must be a sign. Honestly, it, I mean, it's not scientifically possible for you to be a human ferret, Phil. That's not possible. We're talking about human cells here, not isolinear circuits. I think you better stick to engineering, Lieutenant. Yes, I remember that you told me science has retired. I, I'm telling you, t talking to you is like torture. Ugh, this is torture. And I taught kindergarten in hell for 9,000 years. IRS Tax Tip 2022-179, November 22nd, 2022. Taking online security seriously can help people keep their information safe and out of the hands of identity thieves and scammers. It only takes a few simple steps to avoid common security pitfalls. There's a link to that here. By following these tips, consumers and taxpayers can reduce the risk of losing their identity, money, or accounts to criminals. Always protect personal information, personal data that is. Personal information can include things like birthdays, addresses, age, and social security numbers. Now, obviously the social security number is one that we've always been taught. We've got to keep that safeguarded. It might be a little bit more difficult to be safeguarding things like birthdays and so on because birthdays we might be sharing and you might have shared this kind of stuff on uh, social media. Note that's probably not the best idea because that kind of information is the kind of information that can be used to be filling out tax returns 
and or to try to basically get into other accounts because that that's going to be backup information that could be used however uh if someone did a a more a extensive search on basically anybody these days you would think that somewhere they would be able to pull up the birthdays the addresses and the age at this point in time given the fact that those things have been static through the entire life and we've been coming up with more complex and integrated systems online that can easily pick that stuff up and at this point even the social security number you would think is becoming more and more difficult to keep safeguarded given the fact that it's the same your whole life and again you're giving it to multiple institutions so i kind of feel like it's a little unfair in other words when basically if if someone fills out a fraudulent tax return and the irs says well you just didn't safeguard your information well enough right like a birthday or an address it's in, it's almost impossible to to not have that information out on the on the interwebs in some way you would think at some point in time that the social security number we might like change it on a year every year or something like that you would think a system like that would might make things more secure although more uh, problematic so bottom line is clearly you do want to not just be posting the birthdays and addresses and whatnot on Facebook or anything but you also don't want to be overly stressed out with it uh, as well uh, so you, you got to be able to know the fact that that data that kind of data if someone was intense to look for it would probably uh, be there and then take other precautions given the fact that if that's the case then what other precautions can you take as well possibly getting another IPPI in for the tax code and stuff so in any case people should only provide their data when necessary and after verifying the identity of the questioner if someone requests personal or financial information taxpayers should verify their request separately for government employees this could include contacting the agency or visiting the agency's website only shop at reputable retailers everyone should shop at reputable online retailers people should only shop on secure sites avoid any websites with invalid certificates uh, the letters https so up top that little that little padlock indicates that it's on the https which is supposed to be a more secure website so that's at least one thing you don't really want if it just says http then I, my understanding is it's going to be less secure and you certainly don't want to be buying things from that website most likely so do not mean that the website is legitimate since criminals can simply uh, purchase valid ssl certificate certificates and attach them to fraudulent websites so in other words you know the fact that it has an https or a padlock shouldn't give you full security like ah oh, well this website's legit i'm gonna buy from them given the fact just because they got an https but you certainly would think that if they don't have the https they don't have the s or the padlock that that would not be a good sign uh, and therefore you wouldn't typically want to use that at all generally so use security software people should make sure their security software such as antivirus and firewalls are always turned on and automatically updated they should regularly back up and encrypt sensitive files stored on computers sensitive files include things like tax records school transcripts and college applications they should also be sure all family members have comprehensive antivirus protection for their devices particularly on shared devices so choose strong passwords and two-factor authentication they should use strong unique passwords for each account and enable two-factor authentication for online accounts where possible so notice the strong passwords becomes more and more difficult given the fact that one they're difficult to memorize and two we're going to have a whole lot of passwords these days and we want different passwords for all the different things that you might be using so therefore the way to do that is you might be able to use like an, a, a password application and that might be a way to kind of be able to use these stronger passwords and still be able to uh to handle it without without cause without driving you completely crazy or having a sheets of paper that you're changing all the time or something like that so uh, that's something that, that might be looked into there's pros and cons to it of course then you've got all your passwords in this uh, location and there's you can look at look at uh, research it so you can see what the pros and cons are of it but that's an option people should never share their password with anyone know the risk of uh, public Wi-Fi 
Connection to public Wi-Fi is convenient and often free, but it may not be safe. Criminals can uh, easily steal personal information from these networks. So it's kind of information that's kind of interesting. I mean, that these public Wi-Fi's, like when they first came out, before they did the HTTPS, then it was quite clear that they could that people could kind of see, steal your information and whatnot. And and uh, I and and I obviously I still would recommend not going to a public Wi-Fi. I don't feel secure going to the public Wi-Fi. But some of the stuff I've been looking in up to it on it seems to suggest that since they got the HTTPS and so on then they still there's still some information that someone might be able to get on from you on the public wi-fi but it might not be as uh as big of an issue as it was before the https was there and so now criminals are, might be kind of going to other they can probably do more do more damage from not being on the same wi-fi these days right they, they probably they might be moving on to other scams at this point in time rather than trying to just hang out in like the coffee shop right but but, but again i wouldn't trust the wi-fi and i'm not uh, uh i'm not an, an expert on this stuff at all so people should always use a virtual private network when connecting to public wi-fi so that's something that clearly everyone it's pretty common knowledge you know if you look into this at all is that you, you if you're on the public wi-fi then you might be connecting to the node on your home for example so that's usually when that VPN becomes a, 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 a more relevant safeguard. So learn to, re to recognize and avoid scams. Everyone should be aware of common scams. Criminals use phishing emails, threatening phone calls and texts to pose as IRS employees or other legitimate government uh, or law enforcement agencies. People should remember to never click on links or download attachments from uh, unknown or suspicious emails. So be aware of comprehensive of com uh, compromised accounts. Once a criminal has hacked an, on an email or social media account, they may try to scam the victim's contacts by posing as the victim. So probably most of us have received something like this where you get an email or a contact or a face message or something from somebody that you, you know, they're trying, the scammer's trying to get credibility by using someone else's account that they hacked to send you something or they can even spoof the email they can even not hack it and just spoof the the email so so we got to be aware of that now so everyone should be suspicious of unusual out of character requests or messages even when the account belongs to a friend a colleague or family member more information below we got publication 4524 security awareness for taxpayers taxpayer guide to identity theft there's links to those items here there'll be a link to this in the description